This is 3537 uh, Gold Mountain Cove. Uh, here's the front of the house. And I'll pan around. It slides to a road. There's a bit of traffic. Uh, here's a car right now. Not too much. We've had a few cars go by, but it's not bad. So panning around here. You can see the street. Looks like a well-kept street. Looks nice. Okay, walk on it up. Split garage here is great. It's got the two-car garage here, the single bay here, and then also just from up there where you see that railing, there's a balcony off the front as well. From upstairs, it's very nice. Okay, you're gonna hear some beeping. It's the uh, security system that is uh, screaming at me for some reason here. Okay, so here's the tile. Um, it looks like travertine, but I don't think, excuse me, I have a bit of a cold here. Um, I don't think it is. I think it's uh, some other material, just uh, regular tile, but it has a travertine look. I think it's very classy. Uh, here is the uh, wood inlays, just to kind of show you where we're at here. This is the, let me back up. As you walk in here, you'll see the staircase to the left, and then Straight ahead, there's a two-story ceiling here, so this room has a very grand feel, very grand entrance type of feel. And this is intended to be uh, your formal dining right here and formal living. Uh, most people that don't have formal stuff just use these rooms for a pool table. This would be a great little wine room, something like that. That's what I would do. And straight ahead here, again, just trying to show you kind of what's above, open to above, so it feels very large. Okay, so walking through the stack stone here on the entry, we go into the kitchen and family room. Family room uh, right over here. It's very bright, nice, nice and bright. Um, bit of faux painting on the walls there. And here's the, the floor. This uh, floor carries throughout. They have quite a bit of it, so it does have a bit of gold in it. Uh, here is the uh, kitchen with the stack stone. I actually think it looks nice on the island. It ties into the in to the uh, arch there. I don't think it's too bad. And so now into the kitchen here. Uh, the countertops are Corian, and it has an integrated Corian sink, so it's seamless there. It's a nice feature. Uh, and over here is the desk area. Of course, there's your refrigerator, pantry there and then more counter space as it wraps around. The um, cabinets are a raised panel oak, so they're, uh, they're a nice cabinet. And then the pantry here, I wasn't really surprised by this. It's quite large, nice big walk-in pantry. Nice little features here. And then as we go behind the kitchen, around the corner, and that beeping is going to get loud. Um, here's the bathroom, it's got a full bath down here, and then across the hallway, a bedroom. This window in this bedroom looks out into the entryway. Closet. The paint here in the house looks pretty good, nice two-tone. And then here where the beeping is, we have the uh, laundry room, there's a little doggy door. window there and I think oh there we go how cute the little ironing board and here is the two car garage it's like a gas water heater there the windows in the garage make it nice the garage is a bit dirty it needs, needs to be swept out but uh, it's a standard garage. There's a garage door opener already in place. Okay, so we're gonna come back around the corner here and head upstairs. There's the front door. Okay, it's so going up the stairs here. This wrought iron stair rail is. Uh, 
quite an upgrade. The builders normally charge uh, ah, for this house probably in the order of eight to ten thousand for this for this much wrought iron stair rail. So that was a nice upgrade in the home. Now, as you come up the stairs, this is fantastic. It's a kind of a little bit of a rounded room here, and then it has a door out. So you have the balcony out here. It's like the birds like the balcony too. Uh, so the view from up here, this is looking of course towards the front of the home. I'm not sure if you can see the mountains back there, but it's a pretty awesome view here. And there's the area behind the home. And then, nice linen storage here. Around the corner upstairs we have another full bath. And two more bedrooms, both with, of course, their own closets and windows that look off to the front. And then here's the other bedroom right next to that one. And then lastly, I'm moving a bit faster because my battery's getting low here. So I want to make sure I get the master in the yard in. Um, here is the master bedroom. Got a nice fan. Nice windows. And the master bath. Separate tub and shower. Closet, separate water closet here. Um, it's a nice big closet with some built-in shelves. Windows for lighting. Double sinks. Now this door that goes off the master onto the balcony, I was not able to get unlocked, so I couldn't open it. Um, so something's wrong here with this lock. Just wouldn't open. But it's there, there's the balcony. It's got a bit of a mountain view off in the distance that way. Behind the home is, uh, directly behind is a bit of a, a wash, so that area wouldn't be developed. However, behind that, looks like it's zoned for residential. So you can see over there where those homes are, could very well continue on down this way at some point. So there'd be a bit of a buffer, but uh, at some point there could very well be some homes behind there. Uh, so the view may be blocked just a bit uh, on down the road. But looking out the master window here, you can see the mountain views are awesome. Awesome views. Okay, now I'm going to run downstairs. Run down and try to grab that backyard real quick. It's a great house. It's very nice and clean. Uh, it's pretty much moving ready, I'd say. Okay, let's see if we can grab it. That screen door's off its tracker, it's dirty. Okay, so here is back patio. Looks like they took the barbecue, or somebody did, so it needs to have, it's got the plumbing here, it's all, it's all ready, it just needs to have a new barbecue dropped in there. Um, Fireplace, seating area, this is all concrete. It's fantastic. The fountain here, and it's got this little um, vegetation area against the back. Grass with curbing. And then just to show you the house from the back. It's a great house. Great house, I don't see anything wrong at all.